Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew, and today we are going to be setting up our Ubiquity Cloud Key 2.0. So let's get started. Okay, so what we got here is we have our Cloud Key plugged into our Unify PoE switch, and then we have it connected to the internet. And the new Cloud Key actually has um, Bluetooth built in, so you don't even have to connect to it using a web browser, but there's your IP if you need it. It'll pop up an internal one if you don't have it connected to the Wi-Fi. And then you can see here it's telling you you can download the app to do the setup. Here, once you get to the URL, the first thing you'll probably see is the connection's not private. You go ahead and say advance, proceed anyways. And then you have your settings here. You got the SDN, Unify Protect, which SDN's for your Wi-Fi, protects for the cameras, and then your cloud key settings. So let's do the cloud key first for this video. And your default password username is root, and then UBNT for the password, like on all their devices. So you can go ahead and set that up as a different, whatever you want, it's a good password. And then from there, you'll be in there, you'll be inside the cloud key. You got your name, your firmware, your IP address, processor memory, all that fun stuff. You go over to performance, they'll tell you the CPU loads, the storage, how much space you have, and your controllers. This is where you can also get into those options. You have your network settings. So under settings here, you have your firmware, your hardware settings, your device name, which we'll just leave it where it's at right now. We're going to go ahead and go over to controllers. We're going to do the setup, the SDN. And then in here, it, you have your, it'll go through the little setup wizard. It'll ask you which devices you want to set up. Yeah, so we're just going to choose our the two devices that we want to give you. And then once to know what our Wi-Fi is, we'll just call it test net. And the password will be just password. And you can have a guest network if you want. We're not going to do that. And then it wants here your admin information. So we'll go ahead and enter that in. So then once you hit next, it'll confirm your information that you entered. Go ahead and say finished. Then in here is where if you want to access it through the, the web apps, which I would recommend, they're very nice. So you can skip this if you don't want to, otherwise you can go ahead and, once you say next, it's going to go ahead and start to load. It's going to have to re restart everything that you're taking control of. Okay, once it's all restarted, it'll go ahead and throw you straight into their setup here. You can see we don't have a security gateway plugged into this. But you can see we have one switch, one access point, and there is actually a camera set plugged in already. And then in here you got your statistics, your map, your devices. So in here you can see we have the switch and the access point. And then if you ever want to change your network settings, you come down here to settings, wireless networks, and you can edit, delete, add more, whatever you want to do. And then if you want to do any sub-networks, you get all that there. Your controller information, cloud access, maintenance, backups, all that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the devices list. And to get our camera working, we're going to click on our switch. And we're actually plugged into port, um, port 5 on the switch with the camera, which you can see it does see that something's there but it does not have enough power because it requires, um, for the can cameras, they require the 24 volt power. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that to 24 volt passive. We're gonna say apply. We're gonna say okay. And we'll say that it's been saved successfully. So now, if we go back over here to the cloud key, we can go to Setup Protect. And we will just call this um, NVR for now. We'll say I agree. We'll say Next. And it wants us to create a system admin account. 
So I'll go ahead and just call this admin. And then we'll type in our password. To create account. Let's know if we want to skip it or link to the cloud. So we'll go ahead and link it. It says cloud access enabled, your setup is complete, say continue. So then once you're inside the system, you can go ahead and say add cameras. You can see it sees the camera there. We'll just leave it as the default name for now. We'll say add selected cameras. And then I'll go in here, it's online. If there's any updates that it needs to do, I'll go ahead and run those real quick. And then if we click on it, you can see here, you can see what the video sees. You can see all the settings, last motion recording. You can adjust the video quality, the display. If you want the watermark, usually I like the timestamp just so you can have it in, ca in case you ever download footage and save it somewhere. You can restart it, unmanage it. You can do your motion zones. So if you only want to record at certain motions or certain areas, you can see your live view. Of course, I don't have any live view set up yet. Drag that over. And save. And then it'll load your live views for you. And of course, we're just looking at the switch, so it's not going to be very exciting. Now, under events is where you will see your any of the recordings if you have those. And if you ever want to rename it, and after that, you are good to go. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give us a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, follow by the little bell icon, and we will see you next time.